in this question we need to figure out the equivalent resistance the resistant network is given if you look at this carefully you will know that this 6 ohm is short circuited because both the sides are connected to a same point wire is there so which means the 6 ohm is not going to play any role we can simply remove it and redraw, redraw this uh, circuit so let me redraw this we will have 2 ohm then again 2 ohm this is 2 ohm here 3 and this is also 3 this is 2 this is 2 yeah so if you look at this 2 ohms they are in parallel and if they are in parallel their effective resistance is going to become 1 so instead of this two resistors which are in parallel i can replace them with one ohm let me do that so this is one ohm which is the effective resistance between uh, this two two ohm resistors then here we have two ohm we have three ohm here then another 3 ohm here. This is the point A and B. Now if you look at 1 ohm and 2 ohm, they are in series. So if they are in series, we can simply add them. So it will become 3 ohm. Here 3 ohm. Again here 3 ohm. So three resistors are in parallel and all are same you can use the expression 1 by r total equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so if you figure out you will get the total resistance is to be 4 ohm and other way is like uh, if the equal resistance or uh, same resistors are in parallel then their effective resistance is going to become uh, in case if two are there then it is going to become half or if n number of resistors are there in parallel and all are same then the total resistance is going to become r by n so here since three resistors are there and each of resistance three it is going to become three by three which is one